Hey guys, is it just me or is it crazy that 2015 is nearly over? Probably just me, but this year has gone by way fast. And it was a year of so many anticipated and awesome movies. But there's always those movies along the way that just... I don't know how to explain it. They suck. And they're really unwatchable. Guys, it hurts to talk about these movies, but I'm gonna do it. Because I really need to let it out and tell you how much these suck. And to make it really clear, this is my list of what I thought sucked this year. If you like a movie on this list, that's cool. I just might question your sanity. Just kidding, I don't judge. And if you see a movie that's not on this list and you think it should be on this list, I clearly didn't see everything this year, and if they suck, then I'm kinda glad about that. <laughs> And yeah, after this, I'm gonna be making a top 10 movie list of the best movies of this year. But I thought I'd get this over with right now. Anyways, let's get started with some dishonorable mentions. And yeah, there are five other movies I thought that sucked almost as much as the ones on the list. Yeah, I almost died this year. Mordecai. Oh look, Johnny Depp is playing another eccentric character again because we haven't seen that before. Oh, and it was a terribly written script too. Jupiter Ascending. I haven't fallen asleep at a movie theater in so long. Hitman Agent 47, Sinister 2 because sequels, we need that money. And lastly, Point Break, a remake that really didn't need to happen. Yeah, there were things worse than those. Number 10 is Terminator Genesis. Guys, I thought Terminator Salvation was bad. Oh my gosh. Did we really need another one of these movies? And really, the worst thing about this is that they hear, I hear they're gonna make another one of these movies and I just don't want that to happen. Just have Terminator die already because the second one was amazing. We don't need any other ones after that one. Honestly, the only positive thing I got from here is some of the stuff that Arnold Schwarzenegger did in this movie were pretty good and Amelia Clark was attractive. That's pretty much it. Number nine, Taken Three. So I didn't watch this one in the theater. My parents recorded it on the TV and for some reason I chose to watch it and Oh my gosh, the only reason they made this movie is because the second one made money and the first one was good. But the second and third one aren't good. We don't need this one. This was just to complete a trilogy. So if that's the reason why they made this, then this is the last one. Yes. <laughs> Number eight goes to Pan. Oh my gosh, I have never been so bored in a movie theater before. This movie really had nothing going for it. I mean, the plot was trash. Everything in, that was shot in the movie, some of it looked good. Some of it looked really, really bad. Half the time, Neverland was brown. I mean, that's not Neverland. This movie was just bland and boring and really shouldn't be watched by anyone. Number seven is Hot Pursuit. Now, it's been a while since I've seen a movie that just annoyed me the entire time. Sofia Vergara, I mean, yeah, she's really attractive, but in this movie she was so annoying, she never stopped talking. Reese Witherspoon's acting in this movie was just, it just wasn't good. Their chemistry together was just crap, and honestly I just hated watching this movie the entire time. Number six. The Boy Next Door. Once again, Jennifer Lopez is attractive. That's pretty much what this movie has going for it. She's playing an English professor. There's already something wrong with that. And the story was just so bad and it was so boring at times and I just hated watching this movie. Number five, Aloha. Oh my gosh. There were so many great actors in this movie and they couldn't make this movie good. Like all the acting in this movie was so bad. Emma Stone for some reason gave a really, really bad performance. Bradley Cooper wasn't doing that good. Everything in this movie just wasn't working and I just hated the entire story. It's supposed to be like a cute little love story and really the entire time I just wanna kill myself. Number four, Vacation. Now look, I really don't have anything against Ed Helms. I mean, I liked him in the Hangover movies, but I really don't like him. I, I don't know what it is. I, don't, I didn't like him in The Office. I didn't like him in this movie. He's pretty much playing the character he played in The Office, and I never liked that guy. I mean, man, was this movie really crappy. I mean, the acting was terrible. Christina Applegate was pretty much the only one shining in this movie, but that didn't save it at all. Number three, Pixels. Now, the reason why this is so high up in the list, I mean, some people are gonna say, hey, come on, this was decent. Well, I'm done, honestly, with Adam Sandler. I mean, I should have quit. I, I should have, like, stopped having faith in him back in Jack and Jill, but I gave him more chances. I gave him, you know, a couple more years to get back at it. He gives us this crap. Kevin James is the president of the United States. I'm just like, what is going on? So that's pretty much why I hate this movie. I'm done with Adam Sandler. I mean, 
His glory days are gone. It's done. Number two. Now, number one and number two were actually pretty hard to choose by because they both sucked so much. And I just thought one of them was worse than the other one. So this is this one. This is Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. When are they going to stop making these movies? I hear this is supposed to be the last one. Hopefully it is. But honestly, I always hated the Paranormal Activity movies. Yeah, the first one was boring, but it was interesting. And they kept doing that year after year after year until they really just washed it out. Like the first one was good. Just leave it at that. Nope, we got to make more movie movies for more money. And this one just sucked so much. I hated this movie. I just, I, I couldn't stand watching it. It was so boring. It wasn't scary. Some people are going to say it's scary. It's not scary. I hated it. Number one, home oh man. Okay, Fox, word of advice, just sell back Fantastic Four to Marvel so they could put him in with the Avengers, with Spider-Man, just do it because you're not doing a good job. Fantastic Four was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. It was so boring. Everything in this movie was just terrible. I mean, I thought Michael B. Jordan was gonna be at least pretty good and yeah, he was pretty good, but did he save this movie? Not at all. Really, the best thing that came out of this movie was the Thing Burger at Denny's. That burger was so good. I mean, I wish I could have that again. That's probably the only reason why I want Fantastic Four in theaters again so I could get another Thing burger, but that's pretty much this the whole thing this movie accomplished. This movie was just, oh my gosh, I hated watching it the entire time. It was boring. Nothing happened. The trailers really showed it off to be this one, this really, really cool action movie. I went and watched it. You're in a science lab the entire movie. Oh my gosh, it sucked. Holy crap, that was tiring, honestly. I am honestly want to take a nap after that. Uh, Fantastic Four, I never have to talk about it again, and that was the only time I had to talk about it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and my ranting and everything, because I really hated these movies, and I hope you did too. But after this, it's just good days. Wait a minute, next month is January. That's where all the crappy movies are. Freak. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be making another video of my top 10 best movies of the year. And that's going to end off the year. And we could go off to 2016 and hope for the best. Hope there's some more amazing movies. I know there's still going to be some really crappy movies, but we'll see next year. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, share this video, like it, and I hope you really liked it. So, yo, see you guys.